Hello again, Inferno friends. So in this video, um, this is just a quick up update about what's the best deck that I'm playing currently. Um, this is before Sayak, but it may as well be after Sayak. Like I, I, I think we need to change like one main deck card, and then of course the non-engine. Maybe add the Rainbow Pendulum Magician. And, uh. So, anyways, uh, we are going to start with a replay showcasing this new version, updated version and then just the explanation of the decklist. So, real quick. Uh, we're facing Kashira, a high-rated high rated player. Um, we open two hand drops, they open two as well. And they go first, they break. What do you think is gonna happen now? Yeah, very simple. Just trainer options against our, our, our hand. Now, the cool thing about this, I, I know, 60 card variant with hand drops. The cool part is that nobody's going to play around Gamma and 60 cards, so whenever we open it, is solid. As you can see, we hit the draw. Um, it takes a long time to answer, that's why we get to summon the Gamma Driver. But eventually he decided to answer with Ash. But guess what, he doesn't have anything and he knows I have Gamma. So next turn, let's say he top deck, yeah, I would just Gamma that. Maybe he could revive it and, and do nothing else. We still have this, so if we are for sure winning. I think he also knows that. And here is good. Um, that's not a good showcase of the deck. Well, maybe yes, because you saw we open a lot of hand drops, and that's the idea of the 60 card variant. And now he goes first. He has combo, but we have draw. So, of course, we need to draw this guy as soon as possible. If not, he's going to do crazy shenanigans. And also, when you see that they use a card to search, another card that is, that is going to search. It's also a good motive to use the roll. That's why in the previous game he drew me when I use heritage into the render. You know, search into search. Anyway, so under the roll, all he can do is just banish three. It wouldn't hurt because we're playing sixty, you know. But we are only playing one Hari. And we open three mechanical cards, so that's super painful for us. Even though it was winnable. Yeah, because he didn't have too much. Like, all he had here was, um, let, let him summon this. All he has is one, two with the pop, three blocking a song, and four with Ash. So, square and quote, four interruptions. Um, but it was really easy. Now, here we made a mistake. First move should have been 100% Rora. Because if we have the full hand, he may not Ash the Rora. He may wait for the connector. So, we commit a normal summon and then he use Ash. Or then he utilized the Fenrir. So we should have started with Rora. That was the big misplay. Anyways, so what can we do with me? Can cause without the only Hare? Like Arabesque is dead right now. Well, we search Rondo. We discard the other useless card. Equip Rondo. So the second we summon the Kanko, we get this. So we no, he doesn't he mm, doesn't have a vanish anymore. He doesn't block. He doesn't pop. Just like that, he only have one Ash. Unfortunately for us, he uses now, and we don't have anything. We we cannot put Arabesque to get a warrior and then get into his soul because only one Hari in 60, and he vanished. But if this was Connector, we could have gone Connector Flint into his soul, and then this could equip Durendal and get an extender and OTK release. Yeah, that's what that happens, you know. I mean, we know we are losing because he has Sangri to get um, a free unicorn next turn. And we didn't have any other options. So, one small mistake that changed everything. Now, game 3, what do you see? You see, they open only Gamma, and we also open Gamma. That's crazy. Oh, sorry, Gamma Storm. Um, but this hand is insane. This is so stupidly insane, you have no idea. First things first, search everything you can while Gamma protects you. It means. One search, two searches, three searches. At that point, we are like, okay, if you draw here, it's fine, you will research a lot, and we have trust. So, yeah, we discard Gamma there. Um, we summon this. Now, Durendal is one card sold when you don't normal summon. Keep that in mind. Yeah, we did, you, you didn't normal summon, so you can use it now. But, of course, you need to be careful. So by doing this cute play, you play around Ogre Gamma. Because this could quick effect, equip Arabesque that is going to 
make our monsters and able to be destroyed by, by car effects. Uh, and he had the gamma, so that was a pretty nice move. So if he gamma there, we probably are best equipped, so we lit. Then we salt. If he gamma there, we are best equipped. Get ignite. Now, we, we, when having ignite ignite, um, you have everything, you know? Every time you have ignite ignite, you should go for double warrior. That's why we mill two right now. He gamma's here, and we could again equip our best <coughs> to protect the soul. Um, but at this point, I confused and thought that if I equip Arabesque, my effect wasn't going to go through, but that's not true. It so it would have been negated still. I also took a moment to read Gamma. I wanted to be to make sure that Gamma was going to be summoned, even if I even if it did, didn't pop. So Gamma first summon, then negate, then destroy. The correct play was to Arabesque, it's all here, but it, we were winning still. So I didn't do it because of this stupid reason that, oh, but if I are a I'm going to summon Doppel. And if I summon Doppel, it's five summons, I'm gonna get Nip. If I don't, I have four summons, I have trust to get rid of Nip, and then I have full combo still. So we did an Arabesk. Uh, it didn't matter at the end. So then, yeah, trust into TT, hit uh, the Unicorn, and then we just auto win, because we have Fickin' Sick Knight. That is super strong. We use it right away. We are not using Majesty Effect here because we don't have to. We just use it later on when we pen summon it. Now we equip Arabesque on Gamma to bounce it back. Um, summon Hari. Hari this. Yeah, you know what? I think after we after we win, yeah, I still combo. So let's enjoy the combo. We go for Beyond that way, and you know, Ignis Signite means we lit. Um, what else? What else? Um, just standard combo, I think. With him sitting there. Ah, yeah, at that point, I realized I didn't have access to Rondo. So, yeah, Harish um, could not have added follow up. He needed to add Rondo to have the interruption. And that's it. Then, yeah, full combo. Ah, uh, that was so persistent. <laughs> like and also if he had the nip but not the gamma well, after we summon doppel we would have done uh, we would have used ohime to equip arabesque bounce doppel summon hari get to fire dance then hari ohime sold into a palooza and then with ignis ignite fire dance and doppel in hand and doppel wasn't extended because fire dance revives we still had full combo on the palooza which is really nice Um, yeah, at that point, it was GG. We had a lot of follow up. This bringing back this, Omega brings back itself. This brings back uh, an, a new him. So yeah. Okay, this is the deck list, guys. Um, the good part about this is that we don't break at all. <laughs> like in the forty card variant, we will still we were still playing this for quote unquote bricks because you don't want to open. So why sixty? All I did was. Add consistency cards, preparation, add sublimation, another one crazy and this helps a lot playing around gamma and ogre. Sorry, uh, draw and ogre, because all you need is salt and one way into ignis. How many way into ignis do we have? Seven rogueras, three ignis, that's ten, and then six of him, because of him can equip the rendal after he sold mills the rendal. So we have sixteen ways into ignis. All we gotta do is open one of those. One card, uh, sorry, is all without searching. That could be sublimation as well. So if you open like a lot of normal summons, but one of those is sublimation or connector, you, you're lit. Like sublimation um, gets his soul, this all summon dolphin, dolphin discard the card you don't need, read uh, or bait the draw the ogre, then oh, um, dolphin is sold into second is all, and then you search. That's the move, that's the play. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm playing um, this style of build. Uh, like I said, I think I only added good cards into the deck. It's not like when you have to add worse extenders. I think I, I added the same amount of extenders because I was playing two Heritage, two Durandals. I added the third of each. Um, yeah, I think the, the worst engine card that I, that I added from 60 from 40 to 60 was the one Squig Knight. Besides that, I think it was good. Like. 
like this four, the preparation, the third ignis, and the third of these rodents. And then 10 on engine. So before we were playing six, now we are playing 16. I think it's pretty nice having these 15 hand drops in the main, especially because Gamma is so useful thanks to him preparation, Arabesque going second, Durendal in sublimation going second. Yeah, Gamma is super good in this build. And because he's 60, people more often than not don't respect Gamma. Um, while we play level 5 Ignite, that's another small change, really important to beat Ibli. So now, if they have Ibli, we just use Rora into, I mean, not Rora, <laughs> Heritage or Durendal, into this and tribute summon Ibli. I was playing Red Layer for that, but Red Layer didn't actually come up as to be as a good, a good extender, so I just rather cut that um, to free up space. So this accomplishing the same was nice. Also, in some scenarios, you can some of this from deck, being a level 5 tuner and being 24 uh, helps a lot. What else? Uh, I don't think I have to explain much more. Post Sayak, we just change Fire Dance for the green equip, which is simply better. So we can have it in hand and then use it as discard fire for anything and then use it trigger it from the graveyard. Um, yeah. What else? What else? Uh, the idea is that uh, going, going first both side to we side this seven, maybe the very not against Flanderies, but then still this six. We could take out the ones that are not impactful. We probably keep the gamma just in case. It's so so good going uh, first because of the searches. Um, yeah, of course you can change the non-engine rage ratios. I would I would like to add to add the third trust, but right now I think it's fine. You know, just to make this searchable. Uh, we could cut one of these to get the third trust, I think. Or maybe the third TTT for the third trust. Uh, but yeah, I don't have to explain much more. The extra leg is still perfection, as I said before. All the links you need, all the synchros you need. Uh, trust, it, um, trust me, you should try it out. I think it's really consistent most of the time. Like here, I think this is combo because of him or him. Going second is also nice, like okay, one hand drop, but then you also have him into uh, and Gifrid, which are insane going second. Uh, when you open ceremony and or him, you also have a good um, good amount of options. You just use the effect to search arabesque to bait something going second, and then this later on could equip Rondo or Durendal. Um, here I think this is also combo. Most of the hands are combo, you know. Here, for example, this is what I told you: sublimation into salt into dolphin. This card probably one of these, and then use uh, the second salt to search the, ig the ignite, and then we already had ignis. If we didn't have this, this can get a signature. It was fine. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a, a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, in this case, where you break. At least you have three hand drops, so you may you may survive. Um, that's it. I don't think I have much to explain. Hope you like this quick update. Um, looking forward for, for the, looking forward for the balanced. And see you the next time.